central microprocessor that we're using inside of Mechanoid right, so is um, it's kind of interesting because it's it's almost like an Arduino. It's a it's a, an embedded microcontroller, but um, we've actually uh, partnered with the company and we've actually developed it ourselves. But what's what's also interesting is we're we're going to be trying to make as much as we can possibly open source available to the public. So these uh, these smart servos actually that we've developed. They act both both as motors and sensors. So this servo here, actually, when I put it in a certain mode, it will actually send the position data back to our little brain here, and then it will record that data, and then whenever I wanted to, it will send it back, and then the robot will do the exact same motion that, that I, I told it to. So the, the, the smart servos that we've developed, we're trying to make everything as possible uh, uh, available to public open source. So the, the data communication protocol, actually, the data packets that the, the brain sends to the servos and the data packets that the servo sends Sends back to the, send back to the brain. We're actually going to be making that protocol available to the public. So you know, we, we want the maker community to embrace this. We want social roboticists to embrace this. If they want to use an Arduino, if they want to use a Raspberry Pi or whatever, you know, we've made a really great system, but we're not definitely trying to not make it close. So an, one of the he headlines here is open source. Open source. Actually, another thing we're going to be doing is all of the 3D parts that make up this robot are going to be available online as well. So if you have a 3D printer at home, you're going to be able to make your own you know, make more parts for yourself. We're totally cool with that. We really want people out there to be just building and playing with this thing. Okay, um, where is the brain? The brain is actually, well, we got a little development board back here, but the brain is actually gonna be located here in this little console. And it's got four buttons here. Yeah. Uh, one is a uh, yes and no. It's a little, it's a little backup for uh, voice recognition. If you're in a noisy place like here in CES and you can't quite get them to respond to you, you just press yes or no. And then these two buttons in the middle actually record and playback. So if I just hit record, I start moving them around. He records. If I hit playback, he'll play back the move I just, I just did. And he's got a microphone and a speaker here. So he actually plays his own sounds. He records the audio while he's recording the animation, and he plays both back. And he also plays a lot of his own sounds, a lot of his own really bad robot jokes. Uh, are going to be built into his personality. So it's, he's kind of a blend of a toy and a building system. He's an interactive friend, but he's also an educational platform. The other thing you'll need is a really high-tech screwdriver to put these things together. The ah. screwdriver that we use is the same screwdriver, the uh, same hex screwdriver that Meccano has been using for almost a hundred years. You yeah, just so. put it in there, there's another wrench too uh, uh, that uh. goes in the back to hold the nut and you just uh, undo it. And it's such a strong building system. I can shake them around, I can bounce them around. Uh, the piece is all made of polycarbonate, so it's extremely strong. Um, are there other things that you can make besides? So the humanoid is the one that we um, this of, is the humanoid. This is the humanoid character. This is Mechanoid. He's the guy that we actually, uh, the instruction manual that comes with the kit will show you how to build him. But we do not want to make that limiting at all. So we have a, a rover over here. We're calling him the Ecobot. The Ecobot actually is made with the exact same parts. So the kit that made Mechanoid makes this robot. And he, he grabs a, a bottle, puts it in his little receptacle, tosses it over here. So you can actually create an intelligent behavior with this robot. You can put your iPad in here too and Skype with it and drive it around. As oh well. wow. This is my personal favorite. This is the, the dinosaur that you can make also with the Meccano set. So again, the same pieces that made this guy, made this guy. His name, Mechanoid, he has voice recognition on board. He'll recognize his name. Or actually, you can actually name him uh, whatever you want to name him. There's a little naming process you can go through and change his name and he'll recognize his name. And then he'll interact with you. He'll tell you a joke. He'll tell you what time it is. He'll do exercises, do some kung fu moves. He does pretty much whatever you want. To do. When um, can I buy one? Uh, it's going to be available in uh, August of this year. Batteries. Batteries. This uses a six uh, six volt nickel metal hydride rechargeable battery. Where are they? So the batteries are actually located in this battery box. It's one screw and a little sliding door. Yeah. Very easy to open up. So you could have a, an extra battery that's charging while you're Absolutely. going. And here's the battery. It's a very simple 6 volt rechargeable battery, nickel metal hydride, uh, very standard plug. You can find it usually. Any, if you want to get extras, you can find them at a hobby shop. Yeah, what we've been saying is that, you know, we feel that this is like a toy we were promised as a kid. You know, we, we were promised flying cars, promised hoverboards. They haven't quite come through yet on that, but you can still have a robotic friend you can build yourself. What is the uh, Erector Set relationship to this? So, Erector Set was actually the. Um, Erector Set and Meccano are actually two different companies. But Meccano yeah. kind of came first. And um, what happened was uh, Erector Set was in the United States and Meccano was, was in the UK. Uh, and it then eventually moved to France. But 
the, in the rest of the world, it's all the same stuff. And what happened was a, a Meccano actually uh, bought a Rector set. So in the U.S., it's the same parts, but the brand was so uh, it had so much good brand equity that they kept the name. So in the U.S., we've always known it as a Rector set. Everywhere else in the world, what I played oh, this with is Meccano pieces. So this is a 21st century Rector set. This is the 21st century Rector set. Yes. Feel free to use that. Oh, sure. <laughs> all right. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you so much. Yeah. It's good to see you. Yeah, it's good to see you.